It's been 20 years to the day since Sheikh Mohammed Al Harvey's brother was killed by a US airstrike, and the pain is still raw. The Americans are never held accountable for what they do. Have you ever heard of an Iraqi prosecuting an American because he killed someone? The US unleashed its shock and awe bombardment to topple the long ruling dictator Saddam Hussein and to destroy weapons of mass destruction that were never found. Australian troops were among the first on the ground. Shawe Akram El Dalemi was a lieutenant colonel in the Iraqi army that led the resistance against invading forces. The conflict would eventually claim the lives of tens of thousands of people. We saw things that are unbelievable and we lived moments that a normal person should not live. When we fought against the Americans, we fought for our land and dignity. It took less than a month for Saddam Hussein's reign to be overthrown with the promise of freedom and independence. Major combat operations in Iraq have ended. In the Battle of Iraq, the United States and our allies have prevailed. But soon Iraq was plunged into decades of turmoil that have included a sectarian civil war, al-Qaeda insurgency and an Islamic State offensive. The Iraq of today is still struggling. Although now a democratic state, political corruption, soaring unemployment and poverty make some nostalgic for the Saddam era. The situation is going from bad to worse. I hope that tomorrow is a better day, but it is not the truth. A long way from the life that was promised. Alison Horn, ABC News.